We will be solving the surface area of a triangular prism, specifically an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle has all equal sides. As you can see, this triangle is an eight centimeter by eight centimeter by eight centimeters. Remember that a triangular prism has five faces. It's got an equilateral triangle here, another equilateral triangle back here, and these two are equal to each other, and then it's got a body which has three rectangular faces. So that would be one, two, so you can see one of the rectangles here, three, another one here, four, and then one looking at us would be five. So we will be solving for five faces. Remember, we're gonna be solving the area of five faces. So let's first start with the triangle in the front. So this equilateral triangle, we're gonna solve the area for it. Remember the formula for the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two because a triangle is just half of a square or a rectangle. That's why we need to divide it by two. So as we can see, the base is going to be eight and the base is always the bottom. So we're gonna say that's eight times the height. Remember the height is how tall the equilateral triangle is and it is three centimeters. So we're gonna do eight times three which is 24, we're gonna then divide that by two, so that equals 12. So this triangle will be 12 square centimeters. We know that this equilateral triangle will be equal to this equilateral triangle, so I also now know that this back triangle is also 12. So we've solved for two faces, we have three more to go, which are the rectangles that you can see that wrap around it. So remember to solve for a rectangle, the formula is length times width. So let's first start with the front rectangle. And as you can see, the front rectangle, the length is 12 and the width is eight. So we're gonna do 12 times eight and 12 times eight is 96. So now I know that all sides of this equilateral triangle are the same. So if they're all the same, then that means every rectangle that is wrapping it is also the same. So I know that this front face will be 96. I know that this back face will also be 96 because as you can see, this length matches up with that length. So that's 12, and this is the width because it matches up here, and that's eight. So eight times 12 again is 96. And then lastly, we have this bottom rectangle. And as you can see, the bottom rectangle is also a 12 by eight. So then we have to do 12 times eight again, which is 96. You could just times by three, that might be easier for you to do, it's up to you. Okay, so now, as you can see, I've solved for five faces. We've got 12 and 12, that's one, two, and then the whole body is all 96, so three, four, and five. So the last step to find the total surface area is now to add all five faces together. So we're gonna do 12 plus 12, and then 96 plus 96 plus 96. And then when we add all those together, we get 312. And that becomes the surface area of this triangular prism. We need a label. It's being measured in centimeters. Area is squared, so it's squared centimeters. So this is our final answer, 312 square centimeters.